All right, guys, so I'm sorry we haven't been doing a whole lot of videos lately. We've just been totally swamped. Um, but I do have something in the store today that is not a phone, not a laptop, uh, but it does play sound through it. So I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be working on today. I'm going to be switching out a cord in this thing because, uh, well, I'll show you. Look at this. This is an old tube radio. There's the actual vacuum tubes that are in this thing. It was brought to us by a customer to see if we could fix this. The thing actually still works, except for this. This is what has failed on this piece of equipment. This just goes to show you that they built stuff to last back in the day that the electronic outlasted the uh, the uh, endurance of the of the cord the the actual cord itself is look I can break this yeah so that's bad whenever the cord breaks before the electronic itself breaks let me spin this thing around and show you guys the front of it because this is what we're working on for a customer and this is an old old radio every one of these were hand built uh, there is no PCB inside of it everything that is inside of this thing is all hand soldered look at these wires that come out of here this is for the antenna for the AM and the FM uh, these come straight out of the back and these are actually hand soldered onto this piece of copper that runs the entire length of the cabinet itself and that's what the antenna is off of I mean, these vacuum tubes are old. Look at, they didn't even have electrical tape. They used a paper uh, tape on these. Like I said, everything is hand soldered. If they needed a wire, they just, they soldered it straight from one piece to another. These tubes right here are all the original tubes. These are just old, old tubes made in the USA. They're not this China junk. This is this is all handcrafted. Uh, these tubes are made by hand. These are not made by machines. You can't get tubes that have the identical uh, values. They you can get them that come close, but you'll never have two tubes that are the exact same values when they make these because they're all made by hand. They're they're glass blown, and then they're vacuumed and everything like that. Now the cool thing about this. In your radio, on a digital radio, it is set and pre-programmed for all your frequencies. Well, this is actually a capacitor. So if you've ever opened up an old radio inside and you move it, uh, the dial to change the, the radio station, you will actually see this moving. Um, this right here is actually capacitor. It has capacitance to it. So when you turn this, that's what dials in the radio station. So if you put it on the dial in the front and you know it's on say 93.7 but you're not picking up that radio station unless you go to 94.5 what you do is these fins have little cuts in them right here these little cuts you can bend these fins either in or out and that is how you change the capacitance so when your dial on the front reads 93.7 you pick up that radio station. So this is how you tune these. It's actually by bending these fins right here. And you bend them either in or out. And that's how you fine tune your radio on these things. This is just amazing. The, uh, the engineering that went into these. These are just a beauty. Once I get this, this top piece off, I'm going to cut another video. And I'll show you guys a part two of me replacing the cord on this. And like I said, I'm recording this on my phone just because it's it's so big that the the cameras that i have set up i've got to move them around so let me uh stop this video right here and i will show you once we get inside of it and show you underneath and show you all the solder joints and everything else that are inside of this